Hey guys, Indy Zero Gloves here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, if you notice anything different, uh, we just copped a GoPro. If you guys like it, make sure to drop a comment, leave your thoughts on the GoPro. But in today's video, we're going to be showing y'all people how to break in a baseball glove. So right here we have my A2000 RC22. I thought this would be the perfect glove to make this video with since it's not really too broken in. But uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. So you get your glove, uh, you rip it open outside of the box, and boom. It's going to be about right here. Most gloves are like right here. First thing you want to do is just get a feel for it, you know. Just play catch with it, even though you're going to be having trouble squeezing it. You're going to just like squeeze it, beat it a little bit, just... Get your handprint in there. That's what this is all about. Just get your handprint in there. Let the glove know you're there. And uh, so the next thing you're going to want to do, you have to have a mallet. Well, it's not a necessity, but I mean, you would like to have a mallet. What you want to do is pound the pocket over and over and over again. This is going to do, if you play outfield, you kind of want to have it more of a deeper pocket. And uh, for infield, just pound the palm. Get the leather, leather nice and broken in. And, uh, yeah. You start, you could also just take a baseball. Just sitting on the couch watching TV. Just throw the ball in that thing. Hear the pop. Uh, a weighted baseball is extremely good for this. Right here I have a skills weighted practice ball these are super nice for breaking in baseball glove you just throw that bad boy in there and it just serves as a harder throwing baseball just do this for about 30 40 minutes you'll be on your way but mallet work let's talk about mallet work boys whenever you're working with your glove you want to bang on the glove with your mallet at the break points now what are break points it's where you close your glove. So close your glove normally. And as you can see, the break point is right here and right here. So what you wanna do is close your glove and just pound these break points. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit harder than that, but you wanna pound those break points this side too. Pound that. Another place you could pound, close it, pound the web. See, as you can see, I couldn't touch the glove, the uh, things together now, but now I can. Just now, a little bit of mallet work. I'm telling you guys, it makes a huge difference. Uh, <clears throat> one thing you could do is turn your glove inside out. If you're a glove freak, uh, you might be kind of skeptical to this. But uh, I personally do it, and it looks like this. What you want to do is take your knee oh, and just put the glove on your knee until it looks like this. Wrap it around your knee until it looks like this. You want to leave your glove like this, this pancake form, for about 10, at the most 15 minutes. Just let it sit. Let, it, let the leather expand. What this is gonna do is gonna expand the leather, make it softer, make it more flexible. And overall, it's gonna help you break in your glove a lot quicker. So if you do these steps just about every day, I'd say in about a week or so, your glove should be looking like, uh, maybe like this. Should be able to close it. And, um, yeah, so uh, with forming your glove, what you want to do is just let it let it take whatever route it is at the beginning. But then when you start when you start to get used to it, whatever form you like, if you like a flare, if like a rolled rolled fingers, you can just mess with it, put it to however you like it, and yeah, pretty soon your glove will start to look like this, all worn out, beat up deep pocket and yeah 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the pace for 2,000 subscribers. That's our goal by the end of this year, 2,000. Let's make it happen. Drop a comment, like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.